I am doing well. I am actually filming Friday to put this up tomorrow morning. So, as you can see, I'm working on London. This is my... If you are new to my channel, this is London by Thea Governor. It's a kit. I'm stitching it on 18 count black Ada that came with the kit. And I'm using all the call for threads, flosses, whatever you want to call them. So if you watched my update this week, you will have known that it's been a crazy week. With all the crazy weather this month and this week and you know all that crazy snow that we had on Wednesday and Thursday and guess what people it's practically gone already because it was 50 some degrees today So I actually had the drive to, today was my first day back to work for, since Tuesday. I had Wednesday and Thursday off for snow days. Yesterday we probably didn't really need to have a snow day off, but uh, I guess they determined, uh, it was late Wednesday, or, yeah, late Wednesday night they determined that they were going to cancel. So we ended up just having a snow day anyways which whatever that's fine I don't mind having a day to sit around and do things that I should have not been doing but I did or, you know I should have been doing other things but I ended up knitting most of the morning actually and then I went to Joann's and spent more money that I didn't really need to spend but you know such is life because I had coupons and I had a $10 voucher I needed to use before the end of the month. And I don't think I was going to get there before the end of next week. So, I and I had to get a cup. I had to get some stitch markers. Is that what they're called? For my knitting. For the hat that I'm hoping to start tonight. Oh, I forgot I was going to start that tonight. I need to start that tonight, so yeah, I'm going to start that tonight. Anyways, it's been a crazy week, but today I had to drive to about an hour and a half, hour, eh, a little over an hour north to New Brunswick, New Jersey for a transition conference on and when I say that I mean it's a conference all about uh, transitioning students into the work environment for individuals with disabilities for, so from school into vocational and adult mainly vocational and employment placements so it was interesting. I wasn't as thrilled about it this year as last year. I thought the workshops left a little bit to be desired, but it you know it's still encouraging to know that the practices that we're putting in place at work are still what they're talking about at the conferences. So At least that's encouraging. So luckily I got home in time to be able to have enough light to get my video done before it got too late. That way then later tonight I can edit it and have it ready to go for the morning.
But once again, I'm struggling with what to talk about during my video. So this is the first day I've worked on this all week. I had worked on the snowy owl through Wednesday. When did I fin I finished that I, I put the snowy owl away just after I finished my video on Wednesday. Actually, maybe it was pretty late on Wednesday that I finished the snowy owl. And then I decided that I, I had enough of the owl for a while. Actually, I really, it was more, not the owl, but the, it was the, the yarns, the wool, the woolen yarns. I was like, I need a break from that. So I actually, <laughs> funny, ironic, I went and knit with yarn. Ha ha ha. And then Thursday I woke up and I knit. And if you've been watching my knitting updates, I started a scarf and I finished one of the balls of yarn for my scarf. And then I've been working on some designs for my store that, you know, of course I'm keeping to myself for now until I figure out the details. I want to thank you all for your comments on the paper versus PDF options for the store. I will definitely look into best practices for offering PDF or paper copies going forward. It might take a bit, but I will figure something out. Because overwhelmingly everyone said that paper copies is definitely the way to go for an option. So I appreciate all of your positive encouragement and advice in that arena. So tonight I'm going to work on London for a little bit. And then I'm going to knit a little bit. Yesterday I had, I didn't get to really stitch much in the night, at night. I had a long church meeting. And actually I took some knitting with me and I knit at the meeting while I was there. And that's another topic of discussion is, you know, is that rude to knit during a meeting? I personally don't think so because while I was knitting, I was able to stay focused, maintain that focus, and be I was more present during the meeting because if I wasn't knitting, I probably would have zoned off and not paid attention to what was being said. So I would love to hear, you know... Pers I would not take, I would never take cross stitch to do because I think that would be a little bit too distracting. I think knitting or cro uh, crochet is a little bit more forgiving. So if you are one of those people, uh, I would, I would love to know what you think or feel about that. I know this is this is a channel about cross stitch. Or at least this video is about cross stitch, but I know many of you knit and crochet. So, since I'm now rambling about things that doesn't really pertain to cross stitch, I thought I would, because it's many, 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 many people have done this one tag, and I have not done it yet, and I feel like I should do it. Plus, it gives me something to talk about while we sit here and stitch. So, 
You have all heard of it before, I'm sure. But Tracy had a talking tag. And I found this tag to be quite interesting because I know there's been lots of discussion and debate about is this an American-centric tag because of the types of questions and words that are in, in the tag. So, we're going to go through the tag and then we'll discuss it. Well, I guess it'll be a one-sided, one-sided discussion, so I will talk about it. How does that sound? So, I have it pulled up here on my iPad right from Tracy's video. And if you would like to know who, uh, if you don't know who Tracy is, it's Tracy P on Floss or on YouTube. And so the first thing in the talking tag is say these words. So I'm going to say it nice and slowly so that you can hear how I properly pronounce, how I, and I stress I, properly pronounce these words. Ant. Route. Wash. Oil. Theater. Iron. Salmon. Caramel. Fire. Water. Sure. Data. Ruin. Crayon. Toilet. New, uh, I'm sorry, New Orleans. Pecan. Both. Again. Probably. Spitting. And I'm sorry, we have to momentarily pause as we have a visitor on our balcony and he's being a little bit of a show off. See what he does when he tries to get my attention? I will be right back. Okay. Now that we have fed the monster named Geo, and no, I did not use the nuts that Nicole Buckeye Stitcher have, has sent me yet. That is going to be a special treat that he only gets on, I believe I'm probably going to give it to him on either Saturdays or Sundays. So that will, uh, he will have to have that as a special, special treat. So let's continue on with our talking tag from Tracy P.
spitting. Oh, I'm sorry, spitting image. Alabama. Lawyer. Coupon. Mayonnaise. Syrup. Pajamas. Caught. Now, I want to discuss real quick one of the words in that list, data. I say that word two different ways. It depends on how I'm saying it in the sentence. If I'm taught using it as an object of the sentence, I would say, no, how do I want to say that? It's hard to say. I would say I, I sometimes I use data, sometimes I use data. And it has to do with what I'm talking about. At work, we collect data. But at the same time, that data is used for data analysis. And I know that's just nitpicky, but it's just the way my mind works. So it's, it depends upon the context in which I would use, how I would use that word. How I would use, what pronunciation I would use. Let me go ahead and flip around and switch my thread and then we will go let me see what's the best way to get this flipped I have a tape I have my table sitting right behind here that's why it's a little complicated I think we got squirrels fighting now where are my scissors Okay. Maybe up just a bit. Getting my next thread. And again, for those of you who are new to my channel, when I start a thread, what I do is I, I leave a long enough tail in the back and I just carefully stitch over it for a few stitches if I'm able to, just to securely hold in that initial tail. And then, and so I do that one-handed. 
and then I move on to the two-handed stitching technique. Okay. Now, the second part of the tag requires me to answer a series of questions. And here is where many people, especially non-Americans, have, have stated that this is more of like an American-centric tag. And I'm going to argue that they are wrong. But let's go ahead and answer the questions first. And you will see why I'm going to say that they are wrong. Stitch M. What is it called when you throw toilet paper on a house? That is TPing a house. Never done it. Don't know why people would want to do it, but whatever. Personally, I think it's a perfectly good waste of paper. And toilet paper. What is the bug called that when you touch it, it curls into a ball. I didn't know it had a, uh, a name other than pill bug. I believe that's what it's called, a pill bug. Isn't it called a pill bug? I think that's what it's called. And the only reason I think I, that's what it's called is because I think that's what I heard other people on here call it. Yeah, it's a pill bug. Okay. What is the bubbly carbonated drink called? It is called pop. I am from Western Pennsylvania. We call it pop. It is not soda. It is not soda pop because that would be like a double negative. Pop. Now I live in New Jersey. They call it soda here. Drives me nuts. I still call it pop and everyone yells at me or laughs. I don't care. I call it pop. Okay, let's see. Where do I need to go next? Okay. What do you call gym shoes? I call them tennis shoes. Occasionally I might the word sneakers might come out, but typically I call tennis shoes. That's just what my family has always called them, tennis shoes. Even though I, I never play tennis. Uh, I, I usually buy running shoes because that's what I do most with them. But they're tennis shoes. And when I was growing up, I thought we called them tenor shoes. So that's what I would call them, tenor shoes. I need my tenor shoes. Oh, looky, looky what we have here now. Now we have one of our Blue Jays, sorry. I'm going to, oh, nope, it flew away, never mind. I tried. I need a balcony cam just so we can, to make Caroline happy. Because she likes those those animal webcams just to uh, that follows the like the bald eagles like the nest cams. I need a Gerald balcony cam. Okay, what do you say to address a group of people? Typically, I say, and you all actually. I, I, I hardly ever really say it in true life, but I will off, I will say on my on my videos yins. I will say you all. I will say hi all. 
or hi everyone, or hi everybody. Or I just generally, I, I, I think at school, to address my class, I will just say good morning or good day. A very general, generic greeting like that. Okay. What do you call the kind of spider that has an oval-shaped body and extremely long legs? A daddy long legs. And I haven't seen a daddy long legs in a very, very long time. But I, And I remember growing up, there used to be a game that you would catch a daddy long legs and then you there was some kind of like poem or something kind of like a a daisy poem like how you would pull the petals of a daisy off and you would say what's that day uh, the daisy one is he, oh he loves me he loves me not I swear growing up there was a poem about the daddy long legs that you would say about the, the daddy long, or as you pulled the, the legs of the daddy long leg off. And please don't get, I don't want to hear any negative mean things to me in the comments about me pulling legs off of a, a daddy long leg spider. I was a kid when I used to do that. And I'm not the only kid in the world that has ever done that, I am sure. And I'm sure many of you watching have done that as a kid. But I, I, I vaguely remember something that you used to say as you're pulling the legs of the dandy, daddy long leg off to, you know, he, like, a, like the he loves me, he loves me not poem. But I cannot remember what it was. What do you call your grandparents? Both of my grandparents, my grandmothers were grandma, and both of my grandfathers were grandpa, grandpap. Grandma and grandpap. They were not delineated by different names. Both of my grandmothers were grandma, and both of my grandpaps were grandpap. And my great grandmas were great grandma, and my great grandpaps were great grandpap. I never understood the fam like the families that had special names for special grandparents and stuff like that because my family all of my family went like all of my cousins and everything they all called we all called our grandparents the same names grandma and grandpa and if we had to specify if we were talking to somebody that didn't wouldn't know specifically which one I was talking about we would use their last name as a delineator. What do you call the wheel contraption in which you carry groceries at the supermarket? That would be a buggy. When you went to Hills, you got a buggy. You would get a Slurpee and a buggy. Was it a Slurpee at Hills? Or were those called something else? Was that a slushy? I don't remember. But you always got in, and then you, you rode in the buggy.
I was distracted because I had two Blue Jays trying to fight. I think they were trying coming towards the balcony here to to fight Geo for some nuts. I would have turned you around because right now they're nest they're they're sitting in the tree. Let's see if we can if I can show you. You're just getting a tour all around. Okay. In front of us here is a tree. Uh, and there you can kind of see. I'm going to try to zoom in a little bit. And there is the blue jay that keeps coming to the balcony and fights Geo for peanuts. Luckily, Geo is able to hold his own and take care of himself. And as you can see, all of our snow is gone. Oh, and there's two ducks. See, he keeps coming, trying to come. I'm telling you people, when the weather gets warm and the baby ducks and geese come out, I, we will take a walk around the lake and we'll, we'll, t we'll look at all the birds. But now it's just a swampy mess right now. Oh, and look at that. The other blue jay just nested in the, the tree farther away. And Geo's underneath it. See Geo? Right there's Geo. And both blue jays are up in that tree somewhere. And there's Geo burying his nuts in the ground. See Nicole? He buries his nuts. He doesn't eat them all. So we're just getting a little tour of the, 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 the wildlife here. Too bad the Cardinal's not here today. So if I'm correct, I believe this one that right here in the center of the screen is the, the male because he's more brightly colored and the female is farther away because it's it's more dull. Am I correct in saying that? Uh, I'm not a bird bird enthusiast, so I could be wrong. I don't know. So let's get back to stitching, finishing the tag. Sorry for all the distractions. It's it's hard easily I'm easily distracted whenever I have animals outside my door here. Okay. Turn my iPad back on. Two more questions. Then we're done with the tag. And this is the one that I don't understand. I never heard this one. I don't have a word for this. I never heard of this before. What do you call it when it when rain falls while the sun is shining? I call that rain. Uh, I, I have never once heard of a word for that until... Y'all started answering this this tag. Like, what is a what is a sh uh, what do you call it? A, a I don't even know what you call it. I can't even remember. Uh, I I never heard of the terms that you use for that that you all use for that for that, like. It's just rain. It's a storm. It's and you get a rainbow. If there's if there's sun and and it's it's raining. That's all it is. I never heard of a, a, a some kind of special term. Is that like a 
a gender genderized term that like only only girls use growing up i don't know i mean i'm i'm not saying that to be smart or rude or anything i i just never heard of any kind of term for that kind of shower and then finally What is the thing you change the TV channel with? That would be a remote control. Or if you were my grandparents, whenever you were, when I was growing up, they had an old floor panel or a, fl um, what, uh, what was that called? A floor, Uh, floor, uh, oh, I can't even think of the term I want to use. You know, the big box that sat on the floor and had the TV in it. And you had to go up, walk up to it and turn the channel on the TV. And so it had knobs. It didn't have a remote. So, but yeah, remote control. So, Emma... This is not a horribly Americanized tag because there's a lot of the things on this tag that I never heard of either, and I'm an American. I think it's just all about where you grew up and what you were exposed to. You know, I... I I, I think, you know, I grew up in a fairly rural part of Pennsylvania, and I don't think we had words for a lot of those things. A sun shower? Was, is that what you called it? A sun shower? I, I, I don't know. Never heard of it. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed... The tour of the wildlife of New Jersey. Not that it's really wildlife because I live in the suburbs. I live in a very large city. Just outside the the fifth largest. I don't even think we're the fifth. I think we're larger than the fifth largest city in the United States. So... Um, you know, it's, we're a very large metropolitan area, so it's not really wildlife. My animals primarily eat out of the dumpster that's at my apartment complex, so not very wild. But they're animals that don't live in the house, so I guess in that aspect they're wild. But Geo lets me touch him. We chat. He climbs my window or my sliding screen door when he wants attention. Well, not when he wants attention, when he wants food. I have not seen. What are we going to name the pigeon? We need to come up with a P name, for, or we need, yeah, a P name for the pigeon. Yeah, I don't know yet. Hmm. I'll have to think about that. So, anyways, with that being said, I hope you all have a wonderful weekend. I hope you are enjoying your your weekend of stitching, knitting, and all of that other craftiness that you do. And I am going to work here a little longer and allow the music to play out. And you enjoy every stitch, and I will see you on the next video. <laughs>